guys so if you are using hubspot and you want to support multi-language then in this tutorial i'm going to teach you how you can create a module in hubspot and how you can create a language switcher um, this would be specifically for a menu in hubspot however i'm going to teach you as well how you can use the global module for translating your um, content in hubspot and yeah, this, this tutorial will be, will be more into um, translating multiple content into HubSpot. So if you are interested, feel free to stay tuned. Hi guys, so our goal is to create a language switcher in HubSpot. So basically, if I click the EN, it will translate there. If I click this one, then it will translate to English. Now, how we can do that? First is we need to create a module. Uh, sorry, first is you need to set up your settings. So go to the settings area and then um, click the domain and URLs and then language switcher. And then you need to select your primary language. So in this part, we choose English. Okay. And then you need to make sure as well, if you want to support a lot of language into your blog, you need to enable the multi-language variation. So if you notice in here, there are some blogs that has a um, drop down. So it means that this blog has a supported secondary language. So how you can, um, let's say for example, this one, you want this to be um, to support multi-language. So you need to click the create and then create multi-language variation and then Arabic and then hit that one. And then you will see in here, there is a a drop down called English and then Arabic. So something like that. So you can basically change this one. So let's just use Google Translate for the meantime. So click this and then copy this one and then like that until the end. Okay. So I'm going to save this as draft because I just use Google Translate. So once you have a uh, supported secondary language, you will see this drop down in here. Now, our goal is to create this language switcher. So um, you need to create a module. So I, I'm, I'm in the designer manager right now. So go to, if you're confused where you can find the um, designer, go to the marketing and then design tools. And you can see this in here. Okay. So um, this is the blog. Let me just open the name of this is the template for the inner blog post this one and our goal is just to create this kind of um design okay so um let's click this subheader as a module click the module source okay and this is the code that i have by the way i'm going to create a documentation in this in my blog so if you are confused and if you're curious um what are the codes that i've used then feel free to check that out Anyway, um, if you are, just a side note, if you're confused how you can create a module, then you just simply need to select a folder where you want the module to be, um, to sit, then click the create, and then create modules, modules, uh, is it a, does it support in pages or blogs? So you need to select this one, and then is it a global module or a local module? So this one, I've choose global module because I want to manipulate the, um, the translation however local module can be it, it's also achievable in, in local mo module i have a um a different code for that i'm going to give you the difference later but yeah for now let's just have this goal in here like if you click that switch thing it will you know you know translate accordingly so you just need to select take the the pages and blogs and then you call your module for example menu so and then create and it will generate this this part but it is empty okay so this is an html code obviously so this is an html code so i have um this one so this is this one text announce is i created a field called text this so i just added the um value which is copy value and then this one Okay. And anyway, we will not cover this thing and this thing because we just want to achieve this. So I have this code. I have this code here. So this code, basically, this slug is the most important. 
So the origin of that is actually like this. Um, just comment down. And then this one. Okay. So the origin of that is if the contra if the module is AR, so if you go AR, so content translated underscore content, it means you need to set, you need to put the um, equivalent um, translation. Okay, you need to put the equivalent translation, and this one is the image source. So this is the HTTP. I'm gonna copy that one. So basically, this is something like this. You're just confused. So this is the image. I just use an image module just to make things dynamic. And then what is the flag name? So let's say for example, AR. Like that. So that's basically the hub, the static hub for the um, for the language switcher. But we want it to be dynamic. Like here. Like if I click the AR, you'll see that the AR goes at the at the top. And if I click the EN the active plug goes at the top so that's the goal that's why i created this thing in here like um translated content so the code again is this one and then i make this one dynamic and then the image as well i make it dynamic because i want to switch what's the active plug and then the name so we have that for the drop down and then the other drop down content which is this one and I still want this to be dynamic as well. So we have this. I have this code in here. This one. So that's it. I'm going to put it on, on my uh, blog just for reference. So click the edit module. And then you can see this part. So language primary. So I want, if it is a lang if it is an English language, I want the active to be English. Okay. And then I want the name for this one, EN. And um, this one is called drop down. So this is the drop down. Um, I'm super bad with the naming. I need to fix the naming in here. So basically, this one is the active language. And this one is the drop down, AR, AR. And I, this one is, um, I did not put any images in here because it will looks like this if I put that hold on IMG let's say for example um USA so if I put like that and then if I save this you'll see that you know so it doesn't look good so you need to just choose one um active drop down and then if I go to the Arabic portion so I've set the active Arabic into Arabic log, and then for the drop down is I set it into USA log. Okay, so that's how it works. I'm gonna put again the source code, this one, and also the fields that I've used in this module. However, there's also other options that you can do if you don't want this kind of thing, like you you need to manually set the images and the name there's also a uh, other uh, way to do it um using a um conditioner okay, using a conditional delimiters so this one so this one this this one is different i have coded differently okay when you go to the um i think i named this one as yeah, it's Tara, header, menu, menu. So I've used a um, conditional delimiter. So if a module language active is equivalent to English, then I put a static HTML. And and if the language switcher is is equivalent to Arabic language, then I put this Arabic, uh, this static HTML. So if an it is an if and else statement. So where did I get this um, this code? So basically, I created a field here. I called it active blog for the choice. So I named English and then English language, this one. And then if it is in English, then it is equivalent to English lang. And if it is Arabic, then it's equivalent to Arabic lang. And then I group them. Actually, you, you can just keep it ungrouped, but I prefer to group them to make it, um, you know, to make it cleaner. And just I click the action. And then copy snippet, 
So copy snippets. I'll just show with you. So this is the value basically. This is where the if statement goes, like that. And then you just need to remove the bracket because it's not a value. So that's how it works. So if the language switcher is equivalent to English long, then this one is um, this one will pop up. But if the language switcher active plug is equivalent to Arabic, then this one will pop up. And then, yeah, so if you need to save it, and then since this is a global module, you can just set the choices. So I have this language switcher in here, the if and else statement. So if it is in English, then the language switcher is equivalent to English. And if it is in Arabic, then the language switcher is equivalent to Arabic. So this basically how the logic means. Um, I'm gonna. I'll try to make it. Um, I'll try to make it um, brief as possible on my blog version. If you are, if you are still confused on that, and yeah, I'll put it. I'll put a link description below for more information. But basically, that's how how it goes. Um, let me know if you have you are having problem. You can shoot me an email at hi at bookwormhead.com for more. Um, I'll try to answer your concern as well. I hope you find this valuable and. Um, Leave a comment down below if you love to see more videos related to HubSpot. Um, this will give me an idea that you love seeing videos um, related to HubSpot tutorials. Otherwise, I'm going to uh, switch to other topic if you're not interested in HubSpot. So that's it. Have a great day.